What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Blazzy, your host. And today we'll be explaining to you guys what it takes to make fire packaging. The product with packaging just extends it. I feel like it's that emphasis. It's really that font switch that allows you to accentuate the concept. I think great packaging makes someone guilty to throw something away. That's why I think we all find ourselves whenever we visit designer stores. We'll keep the Louis box. We'll keep these fancy boxes for some time. It might not have any value towards them. These boxes might not even have anything in them, but it's the fact that they're so nice. We like the packaging so we keep it. I'm trying to give that experience to my customers. So today we're gonna run the course first with this design process with my boy Nate. One of the designers here at the Sandbox has been killing it for a year and some change. And we're gonna observe what he could do. You know, he's definitely gonna be lab riding it up. Oh, I'm the lab rat. Also, everybody, look, liking and commenting is really gonna help this channel go crazy, so I need everybody to do so. That's gonna go a long way for me, guys. We wanna hit 10K very, very soon. We're literally on the cusp of it, so come fuck with us. Without further ado, let me take it to my lab rat. Bah. Check it out, so a couple weeks back, we had uh, one of our clients, May May's Bodega, hit us up, and they said, hey, Blazzy, so we wanna start serving in the Donald's Happy Meal type boxes. So they got to us, they're like, we want to do something called Legend of May Maze, and I was like, what the fuck is that? So pretty much, they want to transform Zelda artwork, and they want to apply it into a Happy Meal type box. What we're pretty much going to do is, me and Nate, we're going to pretty much create our own guideline here. With the die lines, uh, we'll be able to identify what's our printing area. Now, she mentioned that this is going for about an eighth size worth of uh, you know, flour, so we are planning on sizing down. I'm thinking probably we're gonna go like 50%, 50% a little bit smaller, but this is a pretty exciting project. Pretty much the Zelda thing, right? Yeah, so pretty much I want you just to explore any type of Legend of Zelda vibe. You wanna call it Legend of May Maze? So, me personally, what I think would be really dope is if you explore the box art, you know what I mean? Some of the promo material they used back in the day. I think there's so many dope little assets you could use. Not only that, but backgrounds, right? Like, you, I'm already picturing like a stone type background with fucking cobble bricks, you know what I'm saying? This is pretty much the project we have in mind, and, you know, hopefully we can get a nice glimpse of uh, Nate's creative process. Oh, we're live. Oh. So we are gonna be measuring like the length or the width of this. It's about five inches, we'll just say. Just do it like that. Give us some extra space. So it's about 7.25 height, five inches about wider length, whatever you call it. Um, we have to measure because we are creating our own Happy Meal box for May May's Bodega or Legend of May May. Um, 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 um. Yeah, guys, Black Panther Happy Meal box. Gonna give you an update in like uh, three weeks. I should have uh, the die line done. And then we'll start the design there in another three weeks. Back here with an update for the uh, Legend of Zelda May May inspired box. Last time I showed you guys, we were measuring all the panels of it. Today, I'm gonna be designing the first part of it. Starting on this first panel of the box, and what I've noticed from looking at a lot of these Happy Meal boxes is they have like all of this, all the toys you can get displayed on them. So I think my inspiration going into this is try to use tons of different Zelda. So basically you have like Ocarina of Time, you have Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess, uh, Toon Zelda, Skyward Sword. That's basically how I'm gonna attack this first panel. It's gonna be like, collect them all then it's gonna have like all the Zeldas displayed let's get into this the design um so <laughs> uh, all right let's get into this guys so back with another panel design from the box I feel like in almost every happy meal they have some sort of game or like interactive thing on it I think a good one to use is a word search I'm gonna try to find like a Zelda word search and try to incorporate that into this design if I can't I'm just gonna make my own word search puzzle but I think that's what I'm gonna do I want to make sure I have at least something interactive or informative on this this part so that's gonna be the next panel told me not to say back with another clip 
but we're back with another clip. Basically, I have an idea, or I have ideas for these two sides of the uh, of the box, I should say. I'm gonna kind of put like a, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna stick the Triforce on there somewhere, maybe big or small, and then, uh, and then just for the whole design as a whole, I think I'm gonna go into this, like uh, making it like some sort of castle, like Hyrule Castle is a big part of the game as well. So that's kind of where my head's at with this. I'm gonna see if I can find some cool 3D renders of castle walls and, you know, uh, pillars and stuff like that, and then just see, see if I can create. Quick little tip. Just gonna show you guys how I kind of go about finding these castle walls. And um, so it's literally simple, just typing in something like castle wall texture. With something like this, I kind of want it to have more of like a 3D vibe. So you can also even go onto like, look, watch, you can even do like a, a 3D. You can type in 3D castle wall. Just a little tip, like sometimes it's not as hard as you would think, but yeah. Just So this is a product we dropped in January 2022 called Burning Desire. This was pretty much a stack of uh, uh, hundreds just wadded up, you know. And where do you put money? I think you put money in a box, a shoe box. So we wanted to fall through with the aesthetic and stay true to it. So we decided to make shoe box based around this money stack. Something like this definitely goes hand in hand with the product. I think this honestly completes it. And something like this, you know, like I don't care if I receive some shoelaces, if I receive some some headphones, I'm I'm keeping this box this is the new box i put my fucking quarters in or some keys you know i don't know put, put my fucking grinder in you know so that i think worked out perfectly when it came to a product like this i was able to utilize the packaging for it to be an extra level of presentation and um i think uh, this is gonna help us show this but like we, we made sure that there was details and ways that we can really make it personal and oh nothing personal at the end of the day really right but it, it all comes down to people's attention span and which is like a war that i think creators are facing year and we're, we're never really winning at it so anything to, to combat that is a plus i want to have people stare at these products as long as possible as long as you have something like that revolving around your name often then i think that's when you achieve excellence as a designer or a creative you finally got people to Pay attention what your uh, art is. For something like the Ashley, you know, this is a delicate product that is gonna require way more styrofoam reinforcement and uh, protection just through shipping. You're, you're always gonna roll the dice on that. You could always, you can almost assume that, you know, you are gonna take a hit of anywhere from like three to 10% on product when it comes to receiving overseas shipments. For this, we had to go with a, a, a solid box. There was no real serious reference. There's more of kind of like a, a, a art style we wanted to follow with this. But you know, we decided to uh, just, just capture this this packaging and just have fun with it. Like I said, I wanted to make something that like people keep, you know? I wanted it to be a story, I wanted it to be some artwork. During COVID, everyone just started looking at the room a little bit differently, their living space. They started looking at their coffee table a little bit different. People wanna stack shit up. I like to stack shit up, you know what I mean? That's just kind of my crib, kind of my office. It's all just shit like this. Shout out to Edgar who did a really great job on this packaging. He kills it every single time for me. We had fun with, with making this, you know? You wanna tell a story. I think that's what's important to share. We chose to go more on a, on a deeper level and just, just just followed something that like we would probably see at the swap meet. Like I think Ash on Me Ashley was definitely a product that could have been something that was sold at the swap meet in the fucking early 2000s. All right, y'all. Back day two. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek of how the mock-up is looking. We had gotten a little McDonald's box, but um, this is how it's coming so far. Nice little castle, nice Hyrule castle. I'm loving it so far, honestly. If McDonald's had a Legend of Zelda collab, I'd for sure go and get this. Uh, continue working on this today, see what we can get done. Hopefully finish it. We're, uh, we're near finishing it, so yeah. <laughs> When it comes to working with clients, you want to make sure you uh, you get their idea that they have in their head. You want to try to get as close as possible to that. Um, sometimes you'll go through revisions, sometimes you won't. Um, but in this case, uh, we went through a couple revisions with the client, Mei Mei, and uh, we saw some things that they liked, some things they didn't, and we were able to fix that, and this is the final product. So we went ahead and followed through with the castle idea. Right in front of the box, we got the castle doors. Let's take a look and see who's inside. 
Mikey! It's fucking Mikey! <laughs> Not answering, but uh, we'll go inside right now. Come follow me to see the other side of the box. Let's see. All right, so here we're on one of the interactive sides of the box. Got a little word search in case you get bored. All right, let's move on. Follow me. And right here, we have the Triforce. Um, you can actually cut this out and build it, which is a pretty cool detail. Now, save the best for last. Follow me. Finally, we're here. My favorite part of the box, one of them, but this is a collect them all. Um, we have tons of different versions of Zelda, from Twilight Princess to Ocarina of Time to Skyward Sword. You know, all your favorite Zeldas. Uh, you can collect them all with each May May Happy Meal box that you get. So there we have it. The May May's Bodega box, bro. Hey. The money man calling you. We're going. Oh no. Yo! Thanks a lot, y'all, for checking out this video. I hope everyone was able to learn something. This was a highly requested video of mine. Everyone wanted to know the design process and kind of like my inspiration for some of these products we created in the past. I want to thank y'all for the suggestions. Anybody who has any extra suggestions on what type of videos we should make, make sure y'all go ahead and comment them right below. We'll go ahead and mess with it. Everybody, have a great day. Also, happy new year. I know y'all haven't seen my video for like a year. Y'all have not seen a single video this from me guy in a year. It's been like since last year, but you know, had to dust the YouTube channel off. First video in a long time, let's go.